Now, in terms of the strategies, actually having strategies of learning, uh, maybe once you know your style and kind of aware of your style, it could form some different strategies of how you're going to approach this learning process, or in this case, language learning process, and have a certain amount of independence in terms of knowing the best ways that you learn and, and how you're going to approach it. The metacognitive strategies are, are really planning your learning, talking about learning, so that you talk about what you're going to do. Like I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make sure I go to all my classes, and I'm going to get help when I need it, and uh, I'm going to take a class, and just planning kind of the whole learning process is that the meta metacognitive, not actually not the actual learning, which is the cognitive strategies, but just planning to learn and organizing how you're going to learn. That's at the metacognitive level. And again, depending on partly your style and just also depending on your view of, of learning and what the best way to learn something is. And the cognitive strategies are the making index cards with words on them, writing, uh, taking notes, going over the notes, repeating things, working on pronunciation. These are the actual cognitive strategies I'm going to, uh, you know, really guess the meaning from context and just do tons of reading or tons of listening work. I'm going to analyze songs. I'm going to sing. Whatever, you know, is, is your cognitive strategy of how, how you're going to learn. Um, again, li whether you're like an auditory learner, you want to listen to a lot of things or, or, or visual. And then the socio-effective strategies are th having that social aspect so that you're going to work with others, you're going to work in your groups, you're going to join study groups, and including talking to the teacher, talking to the professor, asking questions, going to office hours, and uh, getting help, and this is, becomes a socio-effective strategy. So all of these end up being your, your strategy of learning that uh, you, you're using to approach the learning process, in this case, in, in this case of the language. And again, we, uh, <coughs> we know that uh, learning has become very independent process, especially with, with computers and with laptops, so that we are more autonomous and so that we do have to have more of a plan uh, of what we're going to be doing, you know, with our time to benefit from. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, this is, this is the, the, the learning strategies.